Good morning, my name is John Thomas Greenlee. Today is the 16th of July, 2023, and I'll be providing the Venezuela threat brief slide. So some key highlights that we're going over is the Venezuela's main intelligence organization. We're gonna be going over Venezuela's intelligence capabilities as well as the assessed threat level that Venezuela poses on United States national security. Slide. So this right here is the, is the main intelligence organization for Venezuela. It is the Bolivian, Bolivarian National Intelligence Service. Slide. So a little bit about that intelligence organization is one, I assess that it, it provides a considerable threat to national U.S. national security. Um, some of those reasons um, is the abuse of civilian human rights. This is done because there was many protests that we're going to be going, be going into, um, and the way that this intelligence organization treated those protesters. Uh, next is the torture of political dissenters. This means that any person or a uh, U.S. official that has a opposed viewpoint um, for like a political viewpoint, the Venezuela or this or intelligence organization would react in a like a terrible way towards them. Um, lastly is racial targeting, specifically um, of Jewish uh, people living in Venezuela. And an example is, um, or lastly, is going against U.S. interests and funding terrorist groups. The terrorist group specifically is Hezbollah, which is actually located um, and funded mainly by Iran. But uh, going, that's definitely against U.S. interests, and that causes a problem with the relationship between the United States and Venezuela, which has affected them greatly. We'll be going into that soon. Next slide, please. Um, we're going into their intelligence capabilities, uh, which I have assessed um, is marginally capable um, when it comes to uh, the threat assessment against United States national security. Um, the reason I say that is because since the relationship with the United States is not that great, um, the U.S. has imposed a lot of sanctions on them because of the, the things that they've been doing um, that I've mentioned earlier. Uh, also, internally, the civilian retaliation and protesting that I've mentioned earlier uh, has been affecting them internally, causing more of an issue, like a lot of focus that they're able to pose such a threat to the United States national security, which they still have, but it's a lot less, like I said, marginally capable because of all the problems internally. Some examples is the 2018 Karasis um, drone attack. That's where um, drones were sent by either civilians or um, an unknown group within the country to attack the president himself of Venezuela. And the, like I said earlier, 2014 through 2017 uh, Venezuela protests, which the intelligence organization, um, primary one that I mentioned earlier, uh, came to actually kill some of those protesters during uh, that event. Next slide, please. Um, so a conclusion um, of that of my brief, like I said, uh, Venezuela provides does provide a, um, a threat against the US, United States national security, mainly because of the abuse of its people and political the abuse of political dissenters. Um, Venezuela continues to be a threat because of its relations to other terrorist groups and funding them and going against uh, U.S. interests, as well as um, its relations with U.S. adversaries like Cuba. Um, and then lastly, uh, Venezuela's intelligence capabilities are marginally capable due to the reasons I provided. Next slide, please. These are some references and articles. If you want to read about uh, the, the terrorist group or the relations to terrorist groups, the how like the internal abuse of human rights as well as the drone attack if you want to read about those um, here are some references and articles next slide
and any questions. That'll be it.